You're watching Fox 29. This is Good Day Philadelphia. Well, we are often on the list of one of the fattest cities in the country, but now Philly has at least one tool to help fight the flap. Philly Fit Magazine, where Rob Garina was on the cover just a few yes. months ago, tries to encourage people to get fit by featuring people like Garino and Brian <laughs> McDonough, our medical reporter at night, on the fitness bandwagon. And Kerry Lee is here with this amazing looking guest right now. Kerry Lee? <laughs> yes. You're absolutely. She's caught everyone's attention. Oh, this is Jamie Appenzeller, editor of Philly Fit Magazine. Yes. Thank you so much for coming Thanks in this morning. Me. And you just heard Steve mention about Dr. Brian McDonough and yeah. Rob Garino being on the cover. And I was asking you, how do you find the people to go on the cover? Because you feature real people of all yeah. ages yeah. and all fitness levels, but they all have one thing in common. They're working to get in shape. Yeah. Well, we all have something in common. It doesn't matter if, if you're famous or if you're um, the neighborhood pet. It doesn't matter. Everybody in between, from the mayor who was even on a cover, mm -hmm. to Brian McDonough, to, you know, my neighbors. We're, we all have the same goal. We're all trying to stay fit. We're trying to juggle these lifestyles that are crazy. I'm um, trying to get to the gym or even try and walk. or it, It's almost impossible. And so what I try to do with the magazine is take locals from celebrities like Brian and Rob and these guys and um, put them all in the same place at the same time and show we're all trying and we're all in the same boat when it comes to fitness. And that's what it's all about. It's about trying and sticking with it. This is land of the cheesesteaks. Yeah. We like our cheesesteaks. Yeah. And we do end up on a lot of the fattest city yeah. lists. How do you think we can change? What can Philly do to be known yeah. as a fit city instead of a fat city? Fat city. Well, I think a lot of it um, has to do with the way that they find their information. And apparently it has something to do with um, all the fast food restaurants versus all the health clubs or wellness centers or Pilates studios. And then that just kills me because there's so many out there. Um, and, and, I mean, everything from Tai Bo to kickboxing to Pilates to workouts. And health clubs are bringing in all kinds of wellness and alternative and all kinds of information with their programs. But I don't think it's publicized or known. Um, I think it seems hard to find. But yet, they're everywhere. So I'm hoping the magazine is an opportunity to put them all in one place, put the magazines everywhere. So if you've made a conscious decision to walk out the front door and say, I want to feel better today, I'm done. I, I've had it. I'm going to do something for myself. Where do you go? You might buy vitamins. You might go to a hair salon. You might go see a doctor, a chiropractor. You'll find one of these there. You pick it up, you start reading it, and there's so much information. By the time you're done, I'm hoping that you're like, gosh, there's got to be something I can do. Oh, I, I'm, I'm so psyched. Much I want to do something. information in there. And if you want to do something else, there's a special event coming up that the magazine is sponsoring. And oh, yeah. here it is right here. It's the Health Fitness Beauty Party, September 18th from 3 to 7 at the Pavilion. Yeah. It's easy to find right on 611 Old York Road in Jenkintown. Yeah. Check it out. The magazine, uh, today's, actually, the September edition is coming up this afternoon. Pick yeah. it up. Jamie, thank you so much for coming in today. My Get pleasure. Fit Philly, huh? Yeah, let's right. go for it. <laughs> Steve, thanks.